Jer ran the new raid last night? What do they think? Okay, um... And then we're on chapter 17. I truly think that the more that, that I look at the opening, like the opening screen for this game, I think this is probably like one of my favorite opening title screens for a video game that I've played. I don't know, it's just like, it's very like minimal. And like, I, I love that the time like changes and that the music is so good. Also helps that, you know, this is Yoko Shimomura. The more that I th I feel like I'm gonna really miss this game when we're done. It's, it's depressing me. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe I should draw it out so I don't I don't actually finish it. You're so behind! No, you're not behind. Day 13. Okay, cool. You slept through your 8 a.m. alarm, no worries. Um. You like it more than, uh, wait, huh? Nears. Oh, you mean you like, you like the, you like the new raid more than Nier's? Because I, well, I actually, I feel the same way. I like the new raid. I think it's probably like my favorite raid as of right now. <clears throat> Dulcie, enjoy your lurk. Hi, Eric. Okay, I am just making sure I have everything ready to go. It still hasn't top Shadowbringers for you yet. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah, and they, they've only added the first part. Yeah, like, I just, I don't know. I feel like the... Um... What do you call it? I don't want to give any spoilers for the for the raid, but I feel like they made it very like not easy to do, but it just feels it feels it just it's really really fun. It's really fun. The music's really good and then the theme is just excellent. So, I love it. I love the new raid. Hi, Pidge. How are you? Uh, oh yeah, Ivelisse was awful. <laughs> I still hate doing Ivelisse. I still hate it. The story, the music is... Yes. Oh, the, the mechanics from, from Ivelisse. Really? Oh my god. Yeah, I think the, the mechanics for me for Ivelisse, they were they were just whoo! Like people still wipe on those. Okay. Um I tweeted. Hey! What is going what's going on with 14, y'all. I'm seeing a lot of my friends from Final Fantasy 14 um, tweet about banning. What's, who's getting banned? Sorry, I was like, I was sitting here on um, Twitter responding to stuff. Oh, 
There's a bunch of people talking about bands. No, there's a bunch of people talking about bands. I have several people I follow. Inconsistency. The fact that they started doing it now. They need to take action on this. Let's see. Somebody else... Apparently, you can get banned for even just using the Discord over overlay. Whoa! Yeah, like, it, there's a bunch of people tweeting about, about bans. Because I guess a bunch of people got banned overnight or something? That's scary! I mean, because I guess it's, I guess what it is, is it's, it's the third party, it's a third party thing. So even the Discord overlay thing is, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, just, uh, I just saw that and I saw some people tweeting about it, so. Okay. Hi, Optic. <laughs> me me half asleep opening my mouth and waiting to be fed the dumplings from my dream <laughs> what oh yeah but people have been using ACT for years um so you think that's like even like all of the world first people use ACT I'm not saying that it's an okay thing to do I'm just saying that like it's not new <laughs> Created quite a few clips from the highlights of yesterday's day. Did you? Oh my gosh, thank you for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh. Um, I oh, I wanted to say too that I finally started um editing my playthrough for YouTube. I I started yesterday. So I'm really excited. Uh also ner nervous to put that up on YouTube, but um I really hope that people enjoy it. It is going to be like a multi-parter video, like there's gonna be multiple videos because like there's no way I can do this is a chunky game like this is like it's gonna be like you know 50 hours maybe of playthrough or something of of me playing so I just like highly doubt that I can fit it all into one video so at the most I feel like it'll be like maybe three or four videos hello hello I'm gonna pick up some um some side quests real quick Cause for concern. There are not enough provisions to go around. Um, Xenoblade Supercut with all of the nice scenes. I'm going, it's going to be mostly like my reactions to stuff. It's not going to be like my entire playthrough, um, but it's going to be like the notable things that happened in the game uh, that I feel like most people would want to see reactions to anyway. Um, so I'm gonna get as much as I can into it, but yeah. Ricky scared. Big problem, too difficult. Ricky can... <laughs> Ricky no can fix. <laughs> Calm down, Ricky. If we can if we can keep cool, we can sort it out. I, I need to practice my voice acting today. <laughs> but we don't need to find more provisions for us. Well, not really. We need to get back to the stock we stored in Tefra Cave. We stored it in a warehouse, but I've lost the key. I tried going along the route that opened up when the Bionis moved. That used to be the main path, but now the place is crawling with powerful monsters. I barely made out with my life. So I'm asking you, won't you help the refugees find the key and bring the food from the warehouse back to the camp? <clears throat> Hi, Blue, how are you? It's taking you forever. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Like, I, I think it's going to take me a little bit. That's why, like, I probably should have started working on it, like, a while ago. But I started now. So, um. Uh -huh. Shulk regained consciousness. He did. He did. I still don't really know how he gained his consciousness back. Because I don't think they really covered that. So, maybe we'll see 
I feel like it has something to do with Alvis because Alvis was there in space with with Shulk. <laughs> so I don't know. Actually, can I? Hi, Mila. How are you? Yeah, I'm going to try to. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love them. I really hope that we have more Nopon in Xenoblade 2. Like, I hope they're like Moogles and like we see them again. Creeping my fingers crossed. One of the side quest lines that relates to... That's what somebody was saying yesterday is that there is a side quest that is missable for Future Connected. So if anybody um, has suggestions for that specific quest, just let me know. <clears throat> yeah, I am going to be... I'm going to be playing Future Connected for sure. <laughs> Wait, I missed it? I did? The one with the kid. What kid? Like, is there anything that I need to be looking out for, like, now? Um, my characters are, like, 60... Oops. Hold on. They're, yeah, like almost 70. My main team is almost 70, 68, so. Okay, maybe I sh should I wait before I progress then? Yes, they are almost at the funny number. I have to fight a level 80 monster in that quest, so I would need to make sure that I'm um, leveling or something. Yes. Oh my god, I didn't even know that I needed to... Okay, so I was wondering why I couldn't, like, continue leveling their, um, their arts, but apparently I need, like, a book to do so. So, I didn't... I actually did not know that <laughs> until now. That's so interesting. 75 would be good enough. Okay. Okay, we're ready to fly into the Bionis. Shall we head there now? Let's go. It's fine because we're casual. Oh, okay. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Nandayo. I haven't really played an Undertale. Like, I played a little bit of it, but, like, I never finished it. It's the inside of the Bionis. It looks quite different from when we entered via the marsh. The Bionis is regaining its biological functions. Must be because Zanza woke it up. Then we find Zanza. And stop him. This is tripping me out. Because... Like, is Shulk... Uh, is he a... Like, is his body, like, just... He's, he's just dead. It's a dead body. So, like... I don't know. I'm just, like... I'm, like, thinking about how Shulk is actually not alive right now. 
Nice, Blue, that's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, a smaller unvoiced cutscene that also has a... Tealand at the ether plant in Aerith Sea. Hmm. The voice one that you can't miss is the most important. Okay, so, like, that's one where... Where is... Where is that one? Actually, I don't want to do this. I'm going to... I'm going to do that stuff off stream, I think. Shulka Jesus arc, literally. Huh. No, I don't want to fight a Telethia. I hate it. Stop, right? <laughs> We're the best. Ricky, like fighting easy monsters. No. Okay, I'm just turning up the sound a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. So I should go back to Colony Six. Should I go do it now? Or wait, no, actually, I think, I think, um, Iroh was saying that I need to be pretty, I need to be a higher level to do it. I don't buy into that. I think that's what evil Dixon and, Z and Zanza want us to believe, but in reality, it was probably similar to Fiora and Maynith. They were sharing, and Fiora as a person doesn't cease to exist now that Maynith is gone. So I think Shulk is still here, but they can't both share his life force forever, so that's why he has to kill Zanza to survive. That's a really good theory. I like that. See, I thought that he was technically, like, you know, a, a, a corpse, a walking corpse, because, like, I thought that the... Um, at least I could be remembering wrong, but I, but I thought that the uh, Monado drained like everyone's life force in the ruins, including Shulk's. And they, I think, or like, or I think, and then Zanza possessed Shulk's body. I could have, I could have like misheard wrong though. Thank you, Rikita. Good job, everyone. We did it. This is your least favorite area in the game? Oh no. Are these games as long as the Final Fantasy series in gameplay? Um, I would probably say yes, just because they are, like, this is a JRPG and most JRPGs are fairly long. Like, at the very least, like, 50 hours. <laughs> Excuse me. As if you had done those events? Oh, okay. It's unmissable. Gotcha. You cannot escape. Got it. Pesky thing. It's not over yet. Here upon beat enemy good. Again, again. It is a marvel to exist outside the passage of fate or something. Oh yeah. Okay, my turn. All right, I'm feeling it. Unreliable narrators for now. You know what? That's fair. Thank you, Ricky Time. Good well be. We can definitely good job, everyone. Let's press off. Everyone do good. Wow, y'all seem to not really like this area, and that makes me nervous. Do 
So yesterday, I was so like emotionally drained. <laughs> I felt so tired yesterday. Genshin Shishroom vibes. Ooh, it yeah, it is very pretty. It's a very pretty area. It makes your eyes hurt. It's very bright. <laughs> believe they killed these guys <laughs> no i'm still mad about callian like like so much happened like within like like 15 minutes it it was just wild like wow <laughs> you look well your highness not this bitch that voice it's Lorathea. Show yourself. Look at that. The heart of the Bionic. I was gonna say, what is that thing? The pulsating life of Lord Zanza. <clears throat> Quit your yapping and show yourself. <laughs> I await your highness here. There is something I wish to show you. I am dying to kick her your ass. Your friends are welcome to join you. That is. If they survive. Did she just blow a kiss? I can't <laughs> stand her. Lorithea, what are you planning? Forget her for now. We must push on to the heart. All right. You like her voice? I just... Can't stand her. She's so rude. I know I'm ready for her to die too. Hard time getting into a given story because of the author trying to make things hazy and subjective. Like, is there a is there a term for it? I'm I'm not sure. No, actually, my favorite types of villains are villains where you can, they, their motivations, you can almost be like, okay, you know what? I get you, even though that's a little bit extreme. Like, for instance, Egil became a villain, actually, that I really r ended up really liking. Um, he, uh, I, I was actually surprised, because at first I just, I really couldn't stand him, but then uh, hearing the full story about him in general, like, just made me change my mind about him, and I, I really, really like him as a villain. But, um... The really, like, the so, like, those are my favorite types of villains, but the villains that are just evil just to be evil, like, I don't know. Not a, not a big fan of those ones. Like, I'm not a big fan of Dixon so far. I really don't like Dixon. Um... Because, like, we don't really know, we don't know his motivations yet, like, as to why he's so, like, ride or die for Zanza. He's, like, really ride or die, even after spending so much time with, you know, the main characters. Like, you would think that he would be, like, I don't know, a little bit sympathetic or care a little bit. But no, he literally does not give a shit. He's just, he's just the worst. <laughs> So, I mean, unless they give us some kind of, like, story as to why he's so right or die, like, I'm just, I'm just genuinely, like, I hate him. Good 
Good job, everyone. Ricky was how's that? Look, that's the spirit. Everyone, let's go. Excuse me. Um, if they add sleaze on top of, of it, I'm instantly like, you're not even interesting. Yeah, you're just gross. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I love me a good, compelling villain, but not the villains that are just like very evil just to be evil for being evil's sake, I guess. <clears throat> Well, that's the thing. I mean, he's, I don't know his entire story. The only thing that I just learned recently about Dixon is that he's a disciple of Zanza. So it just seems like he is a, but like the, but his motivations or not his motivations, his, um, <coughs> excuse me, the things he's doing just seems really, it seems just really strange to me because he spent so much time with um, Dunban in particular and it's like you don't feel any like remorse or empathy or care at all about you know these people that you spent so much time with it's just it's just zanza like the entire time because i mean like didn't he like technically he oh shit hold on that was very scary um what was i gonna say he didn't he he was, he's been with them for so long, right? So, and like pretended to be this person. So it reminds me a lot of like something that happened in Attack on Titan. I guess if you know, you know, but you know, basically being like um, covert whatever and you know eventually seeing like the other side and then maybe feeling some kind of remorse understanding that you have to do what you have to do but like there still should be some remorse there but instead he's just fucking evil like he does not give a shit like he's just he's just out here i don't know i don't know if that makes sense oh crap i did it too fast timing is everything Oh no, see that's not what I am that's not what I'm mentioning either. Like I'm just I'm just saying that like spending time with Dunban and stuff, you would think that he'd be like, alright, you know what? I've seen like Dunban at like these lowest moments, you know, he's become my friend, even though I've been pretending, like like you would think that he would have some kind of remorse at all for any of these people, but he like doesn't at all. He just he just doesn't give a shit. So if that makes sense. Yeah, I just got my ass kicked. <laughs> I don't like, I don't mind villains being villainous. It's just, I I personally don't like it when villains are just villainous just to, just to be a villain, if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like, I like it when there is, you know, when there is a good story behind it, I guess. And yeah, like I, it's not that I want, I want them to be redeemable, but I just think that it would be interesting for villains to have more depth. Like, you know, um, Dixon can still be a villain and be like, you know, irredeemable for what he's done, but it would, I feel like most people after spending years and years with a group of people, like you eventually would just start to like, I don't know, see that they're, they have things that remind you of yourself or like other people. I don't know if that, if that makes sense. So. I'm getting my ass kicked. That's enough. Understood, 
Yeah, like everyone thinks that like, you know, they're like villains have to be redeemable for them to be or like I don't know, when somebody when somebody who genuinely wants a good story behind the villain, like that doesn't mean that I want every villain to be redeemable. Like that's not that's not it either. I just I feel like, you know, a lot of people have personal motivations behind doing certain actions. So, I like to know that and not just I'm uh, bad because I'm bad. Why are you bad? What made you what made you take this turn? I'm really feeling it. I know I should probably get Dunban up. It's your turn. Here we go. Um, where is Dunban? Oh, there he is. He's right in front of me. Oh, shoot. I can't get him up yet because I used my thing. We're fine. Excuse me. Hi, Kat. How are you? Woo! Ricky, you can't go to bed. All right, let me catch up on chat. That was um something. Um. I'll really like the next game. Really. The real world fascina fascination people have with serial killers, to be honest, honestly. Complication of villains and their motives when the game mechanics don't allow for nuance. Oh. Good, a really good story has a villain that is just there to be an obstacle and they aren't a strong character of their own. Yeah, like that's a really good way to put it. Yeah, no, Eggle, oh my god. I Like I said, at first, I was like, why? Like this, I, I really didn't think that I was going to like Eggle at all until that, you know, until we learned, until we learned about everything. And, and then, you know, things changed. And I just, I don't know. I, I miss him a lot. Exactly, Aiden. Aiden and I being the same people again. <laughs> I don't know if I would say Egil was was right all along, but I do understand his motivations because honestly, seeing that scene too where he was like he was hanging out with um what's his face? Arglass? Arglass, I believe. Um, I think his name was. And then, you know, just the idea of like, okay, I get you now. I understand. You just want to starve out the, the bad. I get it. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, I mean, did he have any choice? Like, was there, was there any other way? <laughs> was there anything else he could have done? You'll be lurking, no worries, Kat. Good luck with the meeting. Just what I needed. 
Melia was right, honestly. Like, I feel like Melia was done so badly, and not done badly, but like, they did her, they did her wrong in this game. Like, so many terrible things have happened to Melia, and like, literally nothing has gone right with her, nothing. And I feel bad for her immensely. Like, she's definitely my favorite character in this game, but I, I feel like there has been nothing that has gotten right for her. <laughs> done bad, done badly. <laughs> But um, yeah, and even even from that that scene too, where she's like, "Don't don't do this, don't do this," and like, and then Shulk didn't listen to her. Please, no spoilers for any any Xenoblade stuff. You're gonna you're gonna finish it by um by Thursday. Wow. What the heck? These things are creepy. I'm with that man. We can definitely do this. Here we go. Oh, am I 69? Yes, I am. Nice. Good job, everyone. I just want my girl to move on and find happiness. I know. No one deserves Melia. I agree so much. Here we go. No one deserves her. I feel so bad. Like she's like thinking about that. Oh, it makes me so emotional. <laughs> that scene was really, really heartbreaking. Like she. <laughs> and then at the end, where she was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna protect everybody that you care about. Like she's just. She's very perfect. I love her so much. Seems like a fun game. <laughs> yeah, there's um. Everyone's everyone's backlog, I'm sure, is very big. <clears throat> Shaz Kirby, how are you? Trippy final or close to final zones and JRPGs, and now I hear close in the distance playing in my head. Oh my god. No. Okay, but the heart beating in the background is giving me anxiety. I don't for whatever reason, like heart beating in the in the background of anything, like is anxiety inducing. <laughs> Oh. Hi, Leo. How are you? Um, can we talk about the Xenoblade 3 trailers? So you can, um, just not anything like story related, um, please, because I don't know if, it, if it's related or not to uh, Xenoblade 2 or Xenoblade 1 or anything like that. So... Uh-huh. Why is he so perfect? I will be reacting to, by the way, y'all. Um, if anybody in here likes to watch reaction videos, if, you know, if you haven't seen my Genshin reaction videos, I will be reacting to some of the Xenoblade 2, um, what do you call it? Um, Xenoblade 2, uh, 
trailers, I guess, and then eventually Xenoblade 3 on my YouTube channel. No worries, Iroh. Yeah, I typically don't mind um, like talking about like the battle system and stuff. I mean, I feel like I feel like spoilers are personal for for people, and like people have different definitions of spoilers. But for me personally, I don't mind battle system talk. Um, I just don't want to know if like any characters come back. Like I I don't want to know that, and I obviously don't want to know anything story related. So. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I hate her. I'm still alive. I won't die. So true. Not yet. And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanza. Mm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> Kalyan! Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before. But now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable servant. No! Stop! Ah! No! Do you know the meaning of the word telethia? It means that which eliminates impure life. Impure life, just like you. That which Lord Zanza does not require shall be extinguished. No! <laughs> what the hell? Why are her why are her titties on top of his head? Enjoy this battle, for it will be your last. Why can't I pause it? <laughs> I just have to pause for a second. They're really going to make me do this. Oh my god. I fucking can't! You'll pay for your insolence. Here we go. You'll pay for your insolence. You cannot escape. I don't like doing this. It's not over yet. Get up on beat enemy good. We are at one with the battle team. Renato, I feel the power return to us. I feel like I'm like I I'm going through it again. Am I under level? I feel like I might be under level. Excuse me. You know what? It's it's really rude because I literally was just talking about how Melia has been so fucked this entire game. And then they do this. I have been granted in 
Ricky? You okay? Uh, apologies. Scales were under too much pressure. I missed. Nothing's gonna stop me. For your insolence. What is going on? We haven't lost yet. All right, I'm feeling your youth will be extinguished from this world. I see it. I mean, it's just, it's just worse because I was literally just mi mentioning how Melia has literally been so screwed this entire time. It's awful. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Huh. Hello? Okay, um, just like, I just can't, I'm just, I'm really shocked. <clears throat> Let me catch up on chat here. Why is she writing her son? Get away from him, get a job. Um, you think rising is, is worth $15? Okay. Next in line girlfriend, no. Um, I'm gonna try it again. Hold on, actually. I'm gonna see if I can upgrade any of my gear, actually. And then one writer always went, well, what if, insert Melly emotional damage here, and the rest were like, yes. Let's do it, exactly. No, why are they torturing her? I don't understand. The one thing that I'm hoping for, I'm hoping that Melia comes back. I don't know, I'm hoping that she is able to come back and like maybe Xenoblade 2 or Xenoblade 3 or something. No spoilers, please don't tell me if I'm right or wrong. Um, but I'm just, I'm hoping that she gets a chance at happiness <laughs> and has a very powerful something happens to her. I don't know. I'm just, I'm hoping. Because I feel like this is so rude. Like, I'm dying for them to leave her alone. <laughs> I'm dying for them to leave her alone. Just leave her alone. Uh, I think I leveled pretty much everything. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> she truly does deserve better. It's so frustrating. Enemies all around its wielder. Leave Melia alone! Just leave her alone! He has so many things that he can... Hold on. I guess I have to get I have to get like um the books for him or something because I can't level these.
Hey, it's that one anime, Demon Slayer. <laughs> Sorry, it was a bad joke. What if we unalive her? No. A pie chart of how much shit happens to each character. I want I'm sure somebody actually has already done that. <laughs> I mean, that's really the only the only like thing that she's got going for her is that she's not full high entia. So you know at least she doesn't she's just not turning into a telethia. <laughs> that's all she has going for her. <clears throat> okay, um, I don't know what y'all are saying about Naked Dunban. What do you mean, Naked Dunban? What do you mean? Like, do you mean take off his armor, or...? That's really scary. That, that sounds very scary. She just suffered racism all her life, but at least she didn't become a monster. <laughs> no. <sighs> Wait, how do I just unequip then? I can't even, I don't even know how to take off the armor. Oh, for the sub menu? Oh, remove all armor. Okay. All right. Well, I guess he'll just be naked. This is going to be interesting, I guess. Wait, why? I got an achievement, a work of art. I don't know if that has to do with me taking his clothes off or something else. Enjoy this battle, <clears throat> for it will be your last. So, anyway, time to be sad again. Um, he's getting his ass beat. He's about to die. This is not working. <laughs> yeah, he's getting his ass kicked. Somehow he's still alive. Just kidding! <laughs> It'll all be over soon. Listen. All right, do it. Oh, this is a mess. I see it. Oh my god, what is going on? I feel like I feel like I might need to do a little bit of grinding because we're not making like a ton of progress here. 
Good job, everyone! Oh, there's there's these little clouds here too. No. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm wondering if I need to if I need to kill the abs again. I probably do. Ricky? I don't even know where where is what in the hell is going on with these things? I'm dead. I'm gonna so I'm gonna do a little bit of leveling I think because I'm definitely struggling with this fight so <laughs> we're gonna run back and uh kill some stuff <clears throat> and see if that helps I guess I did like I did stop doing side quests too for a bit like I, I wasn't really focused on doing them as much so that might have not been a good idea because it's definitely gotten me under leveled no, I haven't done any crafting stuff yet. Yeah, everything is like is in the seventies in this area. <coughs> Excuse me. Monster. Oh, I I should switch to Sharla. Well, I mean, I am I am just under leveled in general, though. So. Let's press on. Oh, 
Okay, um, we're gonna put stuff back on. So he needs light armor. I think I already looked at his stuff. Yeah, I I should probably get um what do you call it? A, maybe a better weapon <clears throat> for Shulk, but I don't know. I'm just going to do a little bit of leveling here and see if maybe I can get to like Maybe like 70 or 71 or something. I don't know if that'll take super long, like a super long time. We can't lose. Don't hold back. You say challenge here, Mon. Backslash. Do a split edge. The time has come. Prepare for it. Okay. Here we go. Take this. Ricky, it's your turn. Here, Mon. Here, Mon. Go. go. Leave it to me. Steel strike. More. Oh, 70s of the bosses are anymore. Yes, it's very helpful. Thank you, Mila. Very helpful. Leave it to me. More. Leave it to me. Come on, we can do it. Finish fight. How do you like that? Ricky was cool. Everybody, hero time. There is no escape. All right, I'm feeling it. Good job, everyone. Everyone do good. So, y'all, as I mentioned, I started editing my playthrough of this game for YouTube, right? Um. I posted an update on YouTube, like in my YouTube community, uh, about that, that I am going to be um, posting it because uh, it's been about two weeks since I've posted a full video on YouTube, just because there hasn't really been anything Genshin related that I've been interested in posting or really anything to post in regards to Genshin. So it's been like two weeks and um, I finally like updated YouTube on that. And I was like, yeah, my, you know, my next video is going to be my Xenoblade playthrough. Um, and there are, there were a couple of people who were completely like, oh yeah, you know, awesome. Or, you know, there was even one person that was like, I can't wait to watch that video. And then there was somebody who mentioned Honkai. Which is fine, like I get it. But let me tell ya, let me tell ya, I, I feel, it's, it almost, it feels kind of something. I don't even, I don't even know the, the right words to, to describe how it feels when you're like excited to like post content and somebody's like, well, what about this? And it's just like, I didn't say anything about that. <laughs> Literally didn't say anything about that. Leave it to me. Timing is everything. Remember that. Okay, guys. Now we're pulling together. Hi, chick. How are you? No more Genshin Lori Zeno Bay. <laughs> Hi, AJ. How are you? <laughs> what about Super, Super Mario Brothers 3? Yeah, I mean, and like, I get it because I know that it's something that I was working on, but it's like, I don't know. Like, when it comes, it comes, I guess. But at the same time, like, I, I don't know. It just, it feels very, like, D diminishing? I don't know if that's the right word. When, you know, people are like, okay, but what about this? And it's just like... Here we go. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm like, maybe I'm also being very sensitive about it. Like maybe it's not really a humongous deal, but I'm very excited about playing other games that aren't like daily login gotcha games. <laughs> Yeah, actually, oh my gosh. No, Leo, that's that's another thing too, is that I actually responded to several comments of people when people do ask me about Honkai, like I truthfully tell them, hey, it's not something that I'm like focused on right now. Um, and I tell them the reason. Hey, the reason is because I got turned off because of the um the level gating. If people watch my Honkai videos, then you would see that I got level gated multiple times and it really frustrated me um, to the point where like it literally turned me off from the game. Um, and then, but like every time I give somebody a reason as to why I don't want to play Honkai right now, it's always met with arguments. Well, okay, it doesn't last for very long. Or well, if you just log in and do your dailies or you know, if you just play the game, it's like, how am I gonna play the game when I literally don't want to play the game because I'm turned off? Like I don't under I don't know what to tell you, but like that's not how it works. Like I don't I'm not gonna like trudge through something I dislike. Just just because like I don't know. It's it's like the most frustrating like shit ever. It's like I'm I like. You asked for reasons, so I gave you a reason, but like you arguing back with me about why like I shouldn't feel that way or what will help me, help me, like isn't going to help me. It actually, it's actually making it worse for me. It's actually making me like not want to, like it, it makes me want to stay away from it even more. So. <laughs> <clears throat> You missed lots of it. Oh, thank you. Enough to miss it and want more of it. Maybe they express it poorly, but well, yeah, it's it, and it's like, you know, I get it. I get that people want to see specific things from me. Like I already know that probably my new videos I'll be posting are probably not going to be as popular as my Genshin content um, because most of my subscribers on YouTube are subscribed for Genshin. Um, but, like, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. I don't know. I don't like the barrier to the entry. Have you tried overcoming the barrier? Exactly! It's the most frustrating shit. It's like... I literally don't want to play right now because that aspect of the game turned me off. Well, if you just played the game, it's like... Really? <laughs> You're making it worse. Power sounds like sour. I have to play different style games or I get burnt out. Personally, Genshin is on the side now. Yeah. I definitely get that. Morning, Ark. Your name has officially been changed. Wait, what? What do you mean? Like, 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 like real name? Name change? Or like... Or something else? Oh my god! Leo! Congrats! That's so exciting! Let's go! I'm very happy for you! Hi, Nezikos! How are you? Oh, 
Oh, AJ, uh, question. Like, do you have the same issues with your YouTube channel as well? Like, I finally did an update on YouTube um, last night, and I was mentioning that I was going to start posting my, my playthrough of different games. And I think people are, like, I have a feeling that obviously my my videos might not do as well as, like, Genshin stuff. But, um, people are already asking me about Honkai content. It's just, like, uh... No, you're fine, Leo! I'm so happy for you! Wait, your pregs? Oh my gosh, congrats! You cannot escape, okay? My turn. Keep it up. Law school and being pregnant. Oh my goodness. That sounds like a doozy. <laughs> Hi, Ellie. How are you? Oh my gosh. Can we please get a shout out for Ellie, y'all? Um, everyone, please go follow Ellie if you haven't. She is so wonderful. She's a part of Team Emporium as well, and she is a humongous Xenoblade fan. Absolutely a humongous Xenoblade fan. And whenever, um, whenever I can, I definitely DM her to scream about the game. <laughs> we can definitely do this. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the shout out. Oh, actually, I need to go back because I'm, I'm still trying to level. Uh, this way? Yes, I, oh my gosh, Ellie, yesterday was just emotional damage all around. Like, within like an hour and a half, I was like on and off crying. Like, it was just so, it was so something. <laughs> it was very something. And then I just, uh, about to fight Lorithia, and apparently... I gotta fight Callian, which I absolutely hate. And then she had to go and kiss Callian. Like, why are you gonna be nasty on top of, like, me being hurt? You gotta be nasty. So, I'm just, like, I'm really just going through it right now. I'm, like, absolutely, like, not thriving. <laughs> yes. I was I was going through it yesterday. Like after the stream yesterday, I was emotionally exhausted. Like I was I was so tired. Everyone, let's go. There is no escape. Yeah, rat. Somebody um when I made a community post, there was a, a person who asked about my Honkai playthrough. And like part of me like understands because you know, I didn't make a formal announcement, but I feel like even if I did make an announcement, there would be somebody. Hello? Where? Oh, he's right in front of me. And like, it just, it just makes it, it makes me wanting, it uh, basically it just makes it harder for me to even want to go back when people, you know, respond in that way. Because like, I get asking about it, but then when you argue with me about it at the same time, like, okay, well, why don't you just like not have that issue and like just play the game? And it's just like, no. That's not how that works. Okay. <laughs> yes, Zanza did have the audacity to be hot. Like that was, I was like really having a hard time and then all of a sudden they had to make Zanza hot. It's like, why would you do this? Why would you do this? Monster. 
Yes, that cutscene was really good. I just have to say, too, that we were talking about Melia and how she has been... She has literally been through it. Like, she's... Like, why are they so mean to her? I just want her to be happy. She's, like, my favorite character, and they're so mean to her. Like, the game is, I mean. I simply just want her to live her best life, and everyone's... When I say everyone, I mean the developers are so mean to her. No! I got him up just in time. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, I don't like Charlotte either. I have such an issue with Charlotte. I'm not a big fan. The level gating wasn't your favorite? Yeah. Well, because, you know, with Honkai, I really just wanted to play for the story, but I got level gated like, like four times. And after that, I just, I don't know. Like it really turned me off from wanting to do anything with that game, to be honest. At least for at least for a little bit, and then. But I feel I feel like it doesn't make it any better. Too, the community gets really pushy, and it's just like, okay, well, the level gating gets better, and it's just like, I I'm sure it does, but like right now it turned me off. Well, if you just logged on and like you know did your dailies, it's like, I don't know what's not getting through to you, but like I literally don't want to play the game because I I was turned off from it. So me playing the game isn't going to help me not wanting to play when I don't want to play. I, like generally the Honkai community hasn't been bad, but it's it's whenever I say, hey, I just am not really feeling it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Um, and then most people will just argue with you and be like, well, it gets better. It's like, I'm sure it does. But right now, I don't want to play. Can I just jump? This isn't going well. <laughs> yourself. The fight has only just begun. I just fell. Found my people in your computer. Yes. Yes. Let me just um, catch up real quick. Gonna be lurking. No worries, Ellie. Thank you so much for lurking. <laughs> Charla has one issue and she's Juju's sister. Exactly. I don't know what I feel. Oh, you don't know what Charla did. She's just. Like, she has, like, this... I don't know. For me, I guess, she has, like, very much a mom comp. I don't know if that's the right the right term. I don't even know if this is even a thing. But I feel like she's very... Like, she's just... she's She seems kind of, like, mom complexy, as in she's, like, trying to be the mom of the group. But she can't even control her, her dumbass brother, who is a mess. I don't know if that makes sense. And then it was like, now you need item level 460 continue. And I was at item level 220. And I was like, well, I'm not going to grind to continue the story. Yeah. Oh, this guy reminds me of my brother. But also, yeah, I'll marry him. Oh, no. Just play until he has Stockholm Syndrome. Exactly. I just started Honkai and I'm enjoying the story. But, it, but I can see how level gating down the road will be frustrating. Yeah, and that's the thing is I was enjoying Honkai for the story too, but I kept getting level gated and I just wanted to play Honkai for the story. Like I wasn't interested in the gacha. I'm not interested in logging on every day because I've already, I'm already playing several games where I want to log on every day. I don't want it to feel like a job. Like I just want to play for the story and, um, you know, I feel like Honkai isn't very story friendly in the beginning. <laughs> like they just, they want you to, yeah, like be stuck to it or something. I don't know if that makes sense.
Honk guy's worse, yeah. Wait, hold on over here. Everyone, let's go! She tries to raise people who are her peers, yeah. I'm breaking from Genshin when there's no story or exploration. Yeah, and Crypt, I'm in I'm the exact in the exact same boat where Genshin I play for the story and for, for exploration. When there isn't anything like that, then I am not wanting to play Genshin. So um and obviously right now there isn't any content in Genshin. Like I think that's the first time that I've ever really said that, but like there is not anything to do right now for anyone who is super wanting to progress like the Archon quests, like the main story, um, or anything like that. So, that's like and like i don't know it's that's the first time i've ever said that about genshin where there is no content like there's just there's not right now unless you are brand new to the game like there's not really anything to do right now <clears throat> she's had it rough they've all had it rough though I'm finally free. Like, I feel like I'm free um, in regards to Genshin. Like, obviously I'm still playing Genshin, but I feel like I'm free because I don't play for, I don't pay for the Blessing of the Welkin for the first time. Um, I have finally come to terms with not wanting to get every character in the game. I feel like I'm free. <laughs> Feeling sexy and free right now. Timing is everything. Remember that. I only log in when I want to. This is the Monado's power. Not because I have to. Understood, Dumba. Scale flash. Slit edge. Monster. Ricky. Magnificent attack. Yeah. Nice guy. Throw this. Ta ta. Take this. Ricky. It's your turn. Here, Ricky, go. <laughs> Reject gotcha and brace well. <laughs> okay, but I will never be. Okay, like, I don't think. I think I will always be spending a lot of money because, unfortunately, I absolutely love collecting anime figures. So, when you are. It, fantastic. When you are. Um, uh. When you commit yourself to a luxury hobby, like collecting figures, are you ever truly wealthy? <laughs> uh, this is fantastic. This is this is going great. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> I don't know why that startled me. This is a big old fish. What do you mean, no panic? Dunban is dying. Okay, I accidentally healed uh, Ricky. I'm sorry, Dunban. I forgot about you. Where did you go? No, but really, where is he? Does anyone see Dunban? I think he fell. 
This is the Monado's power! How's this? Ricky! Here, Ricky go! You can do it! That Behold the power of the Monado! Again! Again! Got it! It's not over yet! Here, Ricky go! Wow! We did it! Take this! Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure Dunban fell. This is so wild. <laughs> no! No! What? <laughs> Hello? This isn't going well. No loose spirit is bad. Um <laughs> Not good. How do I get out of here? I'm losing it. No speak is bad. Sorry. Oh my god, that was something very special. <laughs> anyway, let me um catch up with Jack. <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm with that man. <laughs> so he did fall. Um, exposed a lot of issues with the game. Oh, really, Babs? Kind of fun watching someone play Xeno. When I play, the only thing I ever see is the AGD. Oh, it's the first time you've seen the attack animations. Um, yeah, I thought that the reason why they were uh, delaying stuff was because of the situation in Shanghai right now. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Babs, your third eye has been opened. Um, I actually have not uh, played Hollow. Well, I've started playing Hollow Knight, but I never finished it. Grand Blue Fantasy, you know, it's really funny because even if I haven't played something, like, I will still order figures if I really think, if I like it a lot. Like, I, for instance, before I even started playing Xenoblade Chronicles, I ordered the Nia figure. I pre-ordered it because I thought it was really pretty. Um, and I have pre-ordered a Honkai figure, even though I'm not that far into the game. <clears throat> Hi, Young Dizzy, how are you? <laughs> I got stun locked and thought, damn, 14 would never. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love Ricky Pond as well. He's great. You like variety streamer Lori? It's good to be back. Yeah, I'm, you know, it's one of those things where I'm, um, it's not that I, I don't like Genshin anymore. It's just that, um, I've kind of talked about it a little bit, but Genshin was there for, uh, Genshin was there during a time where I really needed Genshin. And now that I have kind of, you know, I, I don't need Genshin in the way that I did before, like, I'm ready to live my life again. If that makes sense. I don't know. It probably doesn't make sense, but if you know, you know, I guess. Yeah, exactly, AJ. Me too. But I think that, I think that, like, Genshin um, being, like, the stuff for Genshin being delayed right now is also giving people a chance to kind of see what life was like or what, you know, life is like without Genshin and, like, experience other games. Like, I feel like a lot of our community is experiencing different games right now, which is really, really cool. Um... Hi, Luigi! Took a last final of the semester. Nice! Hope it went well. Yes, the Bayanussi does have a, bu a bum hole. Uh, yes, link to figures. I'm so curious. <gasps> nice on dial. 
If it's all pasty, you know it will be. Um, am I still a content creator with Genshin? I am. But for being a Genshin content creator, it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, all I have to play is Genshin. So, like, I'm still going to create content for Genshin, but I'm at the point where um, I'm ready to go back to my roots, um, which is playing other games <laughs> besides just one. I don't have, like, I personally, like, don't have any, like, real issue with Genshin right now. It's just that... Um, I want to play other games. I don't just want to be like just a Genshin creator. I want I want to do other games again. So. I'll unleash all I've got. I'm moving states and Wait, you're moving away from Florida, Hallucid! The way that everyone's leaving Florida. <laughs> I get it, but I'm really feeling it. Don't keep it up. Here we go. You can do it. Turning into Daily Tour was not the exactly. Yeah, no, I get that pitch. For sure. <laughs> you want figures of the spy family for yes i can't wait until they start releasing scale figures from spy family like i know there's going to be quite a few because the series is very very popular so i'm very excited i want to get a very nice your one Um. Not enjoying all aspects of it is valid, and not getting into what basically is a tox relationship with a game is actually great. Also, this does not mean those that still play later. Yes, absolutely. It's a lot of us who are stuck with the game because of obsession are starting to heal. That's literally it, Leo. Like, I really do. I see so many people branching out from Genshin and, like, experiencing, like, new games, whether that be 14 or, like, another game or something. And it just makes me really happy because, you know, I feel like with games like this, you can get into almost this toxic relationship where, you know, you can still love it. But a lot of these games are meant to lock you into FOMO. So you end up just signing in because you feel like you have to sign in um, and not necessarily because you want to sign in. And so when there's something like this happens, it's giving people a chance to realize, hey, I don't really have to sign in today because I don't know when the next character is coming. Um, you know, I'm, I'm caught up on content and we're so used to having new content every six weeks. So this is the first time in, since Genshin has launched where we haven't had anything brand new um, in this long. So uh, I don't know. I just feel like it's it's kind of a good thing for a lot of people because they're able to experience, you know, time without that, without feeling like they have to log in. And people are like, yeah, like people are like almost healing from um, feeling like they have to log in. So... Aw, Halu said, well, congrats. We will miss you here in Florida, but I definitely get it. That's very exciting. Um, I haven't cried yet. I got kind of close earlier, but not, not yet. Ricky, go to bed now. <laughs> Ricky, go to bed now. The exodus from Genshin drives people to either 14 or Xenoblade. Uh, Somnium Files, too. There are people who are playing Somnium Files for the first time, and it's great. I love seeing everyone's reactions to Somnium Files.
um, drop Genshin from my priority list is because I needed to spend time on productive things, so I still have trouble letting myself even play other games. I get that. <clears throat> hmm? What are you getting? Oh, I'm probably gonna get leftovers too. I'll probably get something. What time is it? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll get some leftovers. Um, yeah, probably, yeah, probably that. Yes, Chick, I just finished the Somnium Files, was it last week? And I loved it so much that I have been literally telling everyone who will listen to please play the Somnium Files because it is one of the best, like, visual novels I've ever played and it's not even just a visual novel it's like literally one of the best narratives I've ever experienced it's so interesting and and so wild um so anyone who is willing to try it they should definitely do so plus it's like it's over I feel like it's over half of the Genshin cast is in that game so it's like what they did before Genshin essentially <laughs> So it's nice hearing everybody and then seeing a different range of emotions from certain voice actors that don't really have that in Genshin. Like for instance, Karina, who plays Mizuki. Karina uh, is phenomenal. For anyone that doesn't know, Karina um, voices Paimon and they are amazing in the Somnium Files. Yeah, honestly, I didn't even really know that there was a demo for um, Somnium Files until Kat mentioned it. Because if that were the case, then I would have been telling people to play the demo first. But I'm glad that the people who bought it actually are really liking it, so. Monado Busta. Wait, what? Somnium's on Game Pass? I did not know that, and that's so great. Perfect timing because the second one comes out next month. <sighs> yes, Luigi, I hope you love it. So far, everyone who has tried it has really liked the game. So, I don't think there's been a person who has bought the game that has disliked it. At least in our community. <clears throat> There is a taste overlap around these parts, yes. Here we go. One thing that I will never regret with my Genshin content is that the reason why I fell in love in the game with the game um, in the first place was because of the story. So thankfully most people who did follow me for Genshin, they all appreciate good stories. So thankfully. <laughs> Get up. There is a every single every single day there's something wild that happens in my the in my the front of my house. There's somebody who's just parking 
like in the middle of the street. Good I don't job, understand. What did you you ate Leave pizza? It, it was old. Don't bad. Don't overdo it. <coughs> Not bad. We are at one with the battle. The Metroid fandom you have here? <laughs> I don't I don't think there's anyone except for um like Spoon who remembers the time that I played uh Metroid. I have the same thing that I had for lunch yesterday. I, I made um, homemade, oh, it's hot. Ow. I made uh, curry for Mother's Day lunch. And so there's still a lot of it. So that's what I'm eating for lunch today. I'm so excited. It's Japanese curry. It's very good. There's me too. Well, I mean, Rat, the the person who will to this day bring up the fact that I never finished it, like a broken record, or I rage quit it because blah blah blah, like a broken record. Same with same with um Castle or some said Castle of the Night, Symphony of the Night, that too. Absolutely. I just to totally I really appreciate people bringing up the games that I never finished because I didn't like them. It's great. Yeah, it is. It is a thing. It's very delicious. Um, I played Metroid, the one on the SNES. Um, I tried to play it when I was in the middle of like a really long stream. I think it was like a 12 hour and I was very, very tired. And that game was frustrating me to no end when I was already really tired. So <clears throat> should I try it? Hi, Jess. How are you? Oh, wait. Did I beat this one already? I don't remember beating this one. I will definitely say my favorite thing about fighting the UMs is the music. Hi, Heartless. How are you? Okay, my turn. Right, Pitch. It's not over yet. Hero Pun beat enemy good. One more. Uh -huh. Good job, everyone. Pretty one's cool, eh? Electric gun is on. Oh, no. We move at the same pace. Yeah, jump back. Anime is so cute, it's so great. Oh no, is it warm? <laughs> Actually, no, I'll do it. I 
I can't believe it's already 2 o'clock. No! I did too fast. Good job, everyone. Perfect. Hasty thing. We move with the same pace. Yeah, done that. I was wondering, right? I was like, did I cancel it? Or maybe it just didn't go off because I did the chain attack? I don't even know. So I have to basically like wait for it to pop off and then I can do my, I do a next thing. Oh yeah, I have I have Metroid Dread thanks to um, some folks in the community that helped me get it for Halloween um, last year, and I still haven't finished it. I'm gonna play it off stream though. I feel like it's one of those games where I'd probably enjoy it more off stream. Uh, so, but from what I played of it, I did I did like it. I'm only, I mean, I'm almost 71. Cause I think I think I wanted to try and get to at least seventy one, I think, before I try the boss again. Maybe I don't know. Ah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think Effigy, I wanna I wanna play the Zero Escape games with Effigy. Because the Zero Escape games are they're very like doing an escape room. And I love escape rooms or like mystery type games like that with, with other people. So um, I think Effigy and I would have a lot of, a lot of fun with it together. So I was gonna get it for the Vita, but I think I'm just gonna um, stick with what I have. And we do have, we actually do have a stream link, so maybe we'll try and play on the stream link. I don't know. Yeah, no, I feel the same way. I wish, I wish that they were on. The, I don't know why they did, they never ported them to, to the Switch. Like, I feel like it would, it would work really well on the Switch, considering they first came out on the, on handhelds. So, like, I don't understand. <laughs> Timing is everything. Remember that. Perfect. We got through that pretty good. I know. I don't know how Ricky leveled up, I can and no one else did. <laughs> I don't understand. Very strange. Yeah, I remember Wisteria telling me that. Oh, has he always been ahead? I never noticed that. has an XP bonus passive. Wait, that's right. I remember that. Um, I think I remember reading that. I'm feeling it. 
I want to eat my food! <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna take like a bunch of bites of my food after we're done with this one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for anyone that played um, Somnium Files, uh, you should definitely check out the Zero Escape series too. It's different. Um, if you like escape rooms though, it's pretty much, it's like playing like virtual escape rooms, pretty much, with like murder mystery stuff involved as well, but, um, I love escape rooms, so this, uh, this game series is really, really neat to me in, in, in that it does simulate escape rooms. While I beat Larithia. I don't know if I'm ready to beat her yet. She's very strong. <laughs> Best did work. No, rat. No, no. Nuh-uh. I've been getting careless. Rat, no. What is happening? Okay. <laughs> Good job, everyone. We did it. Yeah. Editing my playthrough from the beginning of this game and seeing like Dunban from the beginning and how I was like so very much I was very much here from Dunban for Dunban from the very beginning. <laughs> here we go. Oh. Leave it to me. I can feel the power. I like that. Ricky was cool, yes. I have been with that man ever since. Is Mystic okay, Rat? <laughs> I think Mystic may or may not have finished the Somnium Files. Possibly. I could be wrong. Excuse me. Mm. Not yet, okay. I just saw I just saw one message from her and I was like, oh. <clears throat> mm. You know what? Let me go try it now. Um Shulk and Um Ricky are both 71, so I think. Dunban is still 70, but I'm going to try it. We shall try it and see what happens. Context that led to the boss fight? Wait, did you not did you not see the boss? Luigi? <laughs> I really want to auto run so bad, chick, but I know that that's a terrible idea. So I'm trying to like take bites, but also like pay attention.
Yeah, I want to eat. Maybe I should fight this, actually. We can't lose. You dead challenge, Kirvon. Make it a swift victory. No. Oh, okay. So we're fighting Larithia, um, evil stepmom, <clears throat> and she uh, has summoned Callian Telethia, who is completely telethia doesn't seem like he's, you know, there anymore. And then she was like, yeah, look who you're fighting. And then she proceeds to kiss him on the lips like a nasty motherfucker. Like, isn't that your son, bitch? What are you doing? You're so gross. It was a kiss in the corner of the mouth. It was, but it was even like, that's even worse because that's that's even more like at least for me I feel like it's like even it's like sensual to kiss somebody on the corner of their mouth like ah. you're so gross I hate her I did not mean to do that I hate her I hate her leave it to me Good job, everyone. Perfect. So, so is Larithia like Callian's stepmom, or no? So maybe not like blood related, but like kind of like like his stepmom, right? All right, here we go. Enjoy this battle, for it will be your last. Okay, here's hoping that she doesn't respawn them. <clears throat> bunch of us misunderstood then because yeah i thought i thought that they were like i don't know okay please don't respawn these so much Iro for clearing that up for us then because um yeah I thought I I thought that she was like one of the um one of uh what's his face's wives I did it! 
like that I did it! I don't like that I did it. Oh no, please God. Oh God. B brother Is that really you? Oh, I have longed to see you. I too, Melia. Oh. Brother, I must apologize to you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I... I... You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and father were happy what the heck? to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother. There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. Oh my god. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah, my body! No! I was promised immortality! Hi. Lilia. Hi, my. At long last, I can be with Father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. Ah. That is the hope of the High Entia. I am going through it again. Oh Thank my you, god. Brother. Your words will stay with me forever. I'm begging for this game to stop making me cry. His words. Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say hope of bird people. Hmm. Where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Oh my god. Ricky. Oh. You too heard his parting words. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh. Melia. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Uh, I'm not. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will, together. <laughs> no. Such a brave princess. I hate him too. Dixon, don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. I fucking. And that's how you welcome me. <gasps> what do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. 
I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the bio. You're so annoying. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna... Same. Come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God. Whew. Okay. That was super... Um... Was it buffering? Did y'all not see what happened? Or is it good now? I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. I'm so sorry, y'all. That's... I don't know what's going on with my internet. Hey! Is this... It's Prison Island. So it has sunk into the Bionis' head. Oh, Dun Dun. Ricky feel funny feeling from above. Ricky instincts say Dixon is there. Yes, I agree. Start praying to Zanza, Dixon. We're coming. I can't wait to beat his ass. Like, truly. Like. Ugh. Oh no, Pidge. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that it buffered at an important part. That's, I don't understand. My internet is just not having it. A bridge of grief, honestly. We can't lose. Make it a swift victory. Your dead challenge here, Bon. Okay. Here we go. I don't know why they would name it that. Like that's so self-aware that everyone is going through it right now. The bridge of grief. Timing is everything. Remember that Ugh. we did it. Oh my god, my heart hurts so bad. Like, that scene was so much. Like, I'm so sad. Like, I am really going through it right now. Leave it to me. Against the odds. Yeah. All together now. Good call, Shulk. Timing is everything. Ooh. Remember that. Oh no, is it buffering again? Is it buffering? Is it buffering y'all or? <clears throat> it's okay, so it's it's better now. I'm just checking to make sure. Okay, as long as it's good right now, um, because I can if it if it gets any worse, then I'm gonna restart the internet again. Oh 
Because we cannot have this. The quality got really low? It's spotty. Huh. Do y'all think I should restart my internet? Because I obviously don't want don't want it to be unwatchable, especially since I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game here. Felt that, huh? No, if it's if the quality is really shitty, then yeah, like I don't want that to be a thing either. So give me a second, y'all. Um, let me finish this. Okay, now the flame nebula. Yeah, like if it's really bad, then I really, and I know that at this point too, I think um, there's quite a delay now. So. <clears throat> Let me just finish uh, fighting these enemies and then we'll figure it out. Yeah, it's it's about time anyway for a break, so. Well, my internet provider, too, um, they, so they are doing, they did maintenance last night, and then they're also doing maintenance again tonight, so I don't know if there's something going on, like, there might be something going on, because it's, like, lately it's been, like, way worse than it usually has been, so. Remember that, we did it. Okay. All right, let me grab these. Okay, um, for anyone that hopefully isn't on a humongous delay, I'll post it in chat too. Um, I'm going to restart uh, my internet.